Harrisburg's mayor says she will not eat for three days. And Linda Thompson is not alone. Some religious leaders are calling on their followers to fast and pray. Also, all for the good of the city. Chris Seacott has our top story. Chris. Dennis Alicia, Mayor Thompson says this was her idea as a way to unite Harrisburg and encourage local leaders to work together in solving the financial crisis. Uh, things that are above and beyond my control, you know, that I, I need God. I depend on Him for direction and for guidance and for spiritual guidance. And so that's why it's uh, really uh, no struggle for me to join uh, this fast and prayer. Three days on a liquid-only diet. Thompson says she'll start Wednesday and has the support of at least a dozen church leaders who are calling on their members to fast as well. But not everyone's on board. I'm not starving myself for Harrisburg. No way. <laughs> Nope. They can, I, I might say a prayer for them, but I'm not starving myself. Like, would I fast, you mean? No. I wouldn't, I mean, I don't know why would that, how would that change things? The state's Act 47 recovery plan was just released, and there's been a lot of disagreement about the city's true financial fix and who ought to be sharing the pain. A state senator wants to force the plan on Harrisburg. A city councilman wants to inch a step closer to bankruptcy. So this is really calling for our unity amongst our governmental leaders, uh, for solidarity, uh, for a, a, a reasonable and sound financial recovery plan uh, so that we can all have a prosperous city uh, and get our city back to solvency. Some think fasting and prayer may be exactly what's needed. I think it's a good idea. I mean, if you're religious, you should follow it. If that's something they would do, if they think it would help, but I mean, I would do it. I would do it. Others suggest it really doesn't address the problem. I think that'd be a waste of time. Why is that? I don't think their fasting would cause other people to really get together and discuss what they have to discuss. To the naysayers, Thompson says this. I mean, they're entitled to their own opinion. But as for me, you know, it's my demonstration for dependence and obedience. And the three-day-long fast uh, for those who participate ends Friday evening with a special church service at Goodwin Memorial Baptist here in Harrisburg. Back to you in the studio. Okay, thanks, Chris.